we're gonna do part four of coding with the Gary Kitchen Game Maker. Yeah. And today, we're gonna to show you how to use your joystick and move an arrow around and be able to draw. Yeah. And not only that, when you're done with your program, we're gonna show you how to make your own desk. Yep. So stay tuned. It's gonna be a good one. Yep. All right, today we're gonna to show you how to plot a dot. Yeah, that sounds cool. First, let's go over here. Clear scene one. Next thing we wanna do, scene one black, background is black. You know, maybe it might want it to be blue or something. Now, scene one, color two, we'll make that white. Now plot color two to scene one. Now we're gonna put a sprite in here. Sprite one is arrow. You can find that in the back side of your Gary Kitchens disc. Suppose you gotta put the arrow somewhere. Let's give it an X position. 71 sounds good. Now we'll find the Y position. One twenty. Hmm. Let's have a look. There's my arrow. Now let's get our arrow to move. First, we need a direction. Hmm. By default, the direction's up, but I want it to kind of slant up. Eighty-seven should work. Now that we established the direction, we need to set a movement speed. Thirty should work. Now let's set A to arrow one's X position. And we'll set B to arrow one's Y position. So everywhere the arrow goes, A will represent going back and forth, and B will represent going up and down. Now we're gonna plot a dot. At X position A, which is left and right of our arrow. And Y position B. Yep. See if it works. Well, you know, it almost works, but it's not exactly at the tip of the arrow. We need to modify something. We're gonna set A, A plus, we'll try th three. And we'll set B, B, we'll do that, we'll do that plus three. That should offset our dot to make it match the sprite. How's that? Right on the nose. Now let's see if we can change some things and make it work with our joysticks. If joystick one is up, then put a couple extra spaces in here. Sprite arrow direction up. Movement speed 30. Gotta insert another line here. And if. Now let's copy this. So I have to do it over and over again. And change the values. Like I can change that up to down. Now let's change the direction values to down. And let's copy again. I'll select it right here. And copy. We'll change the down to left. Change the value to 192, that's left, or 270 degrees. Copy again. And we'll place it right after that last and if. Change the left to right. Change the direction to right, which is 90 degrees, by the way. And 
copy again. And we'll place it right after that last and if. Now this time if the joystick one is off, we're going to make the movement speed zero. So it won't move. And you know, since our sprite's not supposed to be moving, we might as well get rid of this direction line. Going to insert a line here. Now a button one is on. What are we going to do? You're going to insert a line here. So now what I want to do is take the values we had for plotting the dot and move them to the line where joystick one button one's on. Right, let's move this down here. I'm going to copy this and move it down. I'll select it right here. And copy. And delete this up here. All we have left is to add an AND IF command. Let's see if it works. I can move the arrow, but when I press the button, Ha 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 ha! Yay! I got a drawing program, man! Now suppose you made this awesome game with Gary Kitchens, and you want to play it, but you don't want to boot up Gary Kitchens every time. You can make it load all by itself, independently. All you have to do is go to File, Make a Disk, Your Name. Charles. This is called part four of my video. Now it's time to put a blank disc in your drive. If you forget, you might overwrite a good disc. And you won't do that unless you're in deep doo doo. Yep. Doo 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 doo. After the blank disc is inserted and you click yes, it might take a while. Don't worry, the Commodore 64 isn't known for his fast drive speeds. Oh goody, it's done. So let's turn off the computer and turn, put our disc in. Turn off. Turn on. Disc is in. And type in L-O-A-D, quote, star, quote, comma eight, comma one. This program was designed by Charles using the Gary Kitchens Game Maker. Here's my arrow. Let's press the button. <laughs> I can draw. Um, yep. Oh. Hey, remember, you just keep practicing. Don't try to do it all at once. Otherwise, you're going to get a brain fart. Yep. Until then, I'm going to make another video. See you later. Have a good